Okay, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the weekend video. Uh, second attempt. <laughs> um, so I hope everyone had a great Christmas, and I just wanted to do a little wrap up video for the for the little bit of trading that's been happening this week, just to kind of cover it. So we have that in the bag, and we can start afresh next week uh, with not only a new week but a new year. And uh, I reckon it's going to be it's going to be an interesting one. Um, but that's for another day. Uh, so I'll start with euro dollar. I'll run through the markets, and um, we'll just kind of orientate ourselves correctly for next week. Alrighty. So euro dollar. We're tracking a a five wave move in green here in wave five, blue in wave five. In sorry, in wave C of B. So we're tracking five of five of C of B. So so far. We have uh, one wave one up, wave two complete, and we're, we're we seem to be accelerating higher in wave three green here, and um, the alternate count now I think can be well and truly done away with because we had previous resistance broken. Um, so we still haven't broken uh, the previous uh, high here at one twenty ninety one. So this uh, particular alternate here. Uh, Still stands for the moment, but I reckon that'll be broken probably Monday. So, or sorry, not Monday, Tuesday. Uh, is that New Year's Day is Monday, I think, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so um, five waves up in wave five blue is what we're tracking. So, so far we've got uh, wave one green, wave two complete, and we're working on, in brown labels here, five waves in wave three green. So one, two, uh, three four and five will come uh as a sequence of four and five now completes to the upside so i think this week we have we're we're in a third of a third of a third so we haven't had you know vertical action but we had um a, a nice a kind of increase to the upside uh i think the subdivision in gray labels here speaks to the kind of action that's happened we haven't had like i said we haven't had vertical shot up uh, shoot upwards so i think again wave three pink is subdividing which kind of would which would uh, kind of subdue the um the upside action a little bit so uh for early next week i want to see this uh five waves in pink complete uh wave three somewhere around uh 120 91 uh sideways correction four and then a rally up towards the 122 area for uh, uh a third wave completion um next week should be pretty much a kind of uh, a sequence of fourth and fifth waves to the upside so i still see uh you know a, a nice bit of upside to complete up to the the target is about 123.50 so I said, there's a little bit in it yet there's you know probably 300 points in it yet so um for next week we're, we're still looking up and um we complete this larger five wave pattern and once we're complete uh the larger five wave pattern we will again uh, the, uh turn our attention to the downside here you know once we hit the uh, 123.50 mark we'll start looking downside again already uh, pound dollar again had a nice up day. We had this contracting triangle here. In general, we're looking for a um, three waves. If you can uh, pick that out here, a three wave A B C rally to the upside. Target about one thirty nine. Um, we this tar this three wave will complete wave C of C of four. So again, a real complex correction upwards. Uh, let's get down into the nitty-gritty and see what's happened over the last couple of days. So we have a possible five-wave pattern in pink here, completing a wave C in brown. Uh, I have a, an immediate target of 138 uh, for this um, for this wave C. The uh, larger uh, larger chart, the four-hour chart, would put the target about 139, the upper 139s. So uh, we have a, a nice target range there. You can see the uh, the lower um, three wave pattern within this trend channel here. The target's about 138. So uh, 
for the moment, you know, we have an area to work towards um, next week. Looks to be more upside to come, but it'll be short lived, I think. Uh, so that's next. That's uh, power dollar dollar yen. Uh, this kind of grind to the downside that's happened over the last couple of days has been, I think, within a, a second wave. So what I'm looking at here is wave one green complete, wave two green complete, and now we're getting a one two pattern in uh, brown labels to the upside. Uh, so we should be entering a wave three of three to the upside here. Um, the immediate support of 112 here should not should not break 112. That's the so we're, we're actually getting quite close to it. But for now, I think we probably uh, I'm still pretty bullish on dollar in the short term. I know that's uh, kind of um, let's say a contradictory given what's expected in both pound dollar and euro dollar but you know dollar yen seems to run to its own tune so more right, you know more often than not anyway so uh, there is another way to view this but I'm not going to go there right now I think um, the one two one two pattern to the upside is sufficient for now um, later next week if we get a break of this previous wave B here at about, let's see what that was, 113.38, then we'll be pretty much set on a, a third of a third rally to the upside. Okay, so let's move into stocks. What was stocks due today? It's been sideways, obviously, for the last few days. There's, there's an element of me which thinks that this final kind of grind higher here over the last couple of days may be wave five complete. You know, the skeptical part of me um, is allowing for another rally. <laughs> basically, I th it's possible that we have a a very kind of it's it's possible that this could be all wave four blue to complete at a a, a lower point, maybe around the twenty four six hundred area. Um, it could be a long, drawn-out kind of complex uh, flat to the down, yeah, to the downside. So can't really comment much on that right now. Suffice to say that uh, I do think we will see another uh, spike, possibly up to the 25, uh, 25, 100 area in wave five blue. Um, for now, you can't see, you can't call this sideways action. Uh, anything but a correction right now because of the, um, the the zero downside momentum. There's no pick up to the downside at all. Uh, so for next week, I think we're still looking up in stocks unless we get uh, an Elliott Wave signal off the recent high there. Then I'll change my tune on that one. But uh, for now, I think next week's probably going to well, even even if we do get higher uh, uh, higher prices next week. I think it will, in the short term, it will kind of ring alarm bells because we'll have another five wave pattern complete. And uh, at that point, we'll be looking to the downside again. All right, gold. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but we have this nice impulse move up, uh, which we've been looking at uh, off the 12.36 low here. And I think we could get into an acceleration um, higher uh, very soon. Uh, if, if we can't call what's happened so far as a nice rally, but I think um, a break of the 1300 area again today might uh, might be that impetus that the market needs to kind of to uh, to get back into gold again. So let's go over what's happened. Um, I'm counting a five waves up in uh, blue here. So uh, we had a nice five wave rally uh, called at the time. We had a three wave decline. And we had this impulse move off that low uh, in one, two, in, in brown labels, and one, two in brown labels uh, to kind of confirm a confirming price action to the upside. And off that low of 12.59, we've had a lovely uh, $40 rally, uh, I think can be broken out into five waves itself. Uh, so we could be seen at the high today, we could be seeing a completed wave three. Okay, uh, after getting back from an interruption, next week, I think, uh, 
probably early to midweek we'll be seeing a, a correction in wave four in a fourth wave and um, the previous fourth wave of one lesser degree i think comes in at about 1280 it's it's a very small uh, sideways pattern there but i think we can call it 1280 as likely target for um, the larger wave for uh, brown so uh, interim correction followed by further rally that's uh, that's gold already and crude oil uh, has gone quite well uh, so far this week we were expecting an acceleration higher we got an acceleration higher i think uh, off the wave one uh, the upside pattern wave one two we've had a further breakdown in lower degree wave one and two to the upside then we got this nice spike higher yesterday so we're, we're seeing if i can uh, control that out we're seeing wave one two and then wave three here breaks out into one two one two three four five uh possible fifth wave here i'd say so we'll probably see uh, further fourth and fifth waves up to complete uh, get rid of that scribble a possible further fourth and fifth wave up to complete that um, third wave in pink i think we could be seeing up to the upper trend line there maybe about 60 we'll probably cross into 60 maybe 61 dollars uh, before wave three pink is complete uh, at the high of today we saw we saw 6048 so or 6040 or so with an eye on the initial target at 63 so uh, we're well on our way to um, another 300 points and we'll be up to the initial target at 63 the higher target is in the region of 70 dollars and that um, well we'll deal with that when we get there but for now uh, out of that kind of uh, complex correction in wave four we've had a nice uh, impulse structure developing to the upside so we've got wave one two in brown and now we're working on the extended wave three in brown so for next week again we're looking at much like gold we're looking at uh, completion of third waves and then a fourth and fifth wave and then a fourth another fourth and fifth wave so we're, we're going into the um grind higher in fourth and fifth waves now uh, but for them for the short term anyway for the next few weeks we're looking we're definitely looking up in gold so that runs out uh the markets for this week i hope you had a great christmas week and um let's see if we can start uh 2018 god you know i'm only getting used to writing 2017 and now i have to change to 2018 2018 in um in good form and like i said Earlier on in the video, I think it's going to be a banging year for a turnaround, and uh, and I reckon it's going to come in the next couple of months. So um, anyway, for next week, we'll tackle what uh, the initial targets and the initial hurdles, and uh, we'll look for opportunities as they arise. Alrighty, uh, have a great weekend, guys and gals, and uh, we'll see you probably on Tuesday if uh, New Year's Day is on Monday. So. Uh, See you Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.